everybody, this is Kenley Pink with Inspirational Pink and also Plan to Blossom on Etsy. Welcome. Earlier this week, I promised you this video on productivity, on being more productive. And I just want to encourage you because we are at the, the first quarter is over, January, February, here we are in March. And I'm sure we've all made a lot of New Year's resolutions and declarations. And I just wanted to encourage you not to give up on yourself because usually many, many more people than not have fallen off by now and have given up and thrown in the towel. And I want to encourage you, don't throw in the towel and share with you uh, some key principles of why you are probably most likely throwing in the towel. So the first thing I want to encourage you to do with improving your productivity and meeting your goals is to, number one, know yourself. Know yourself. Um, you live with you. No one knows you like you know you. Even in your self-denial, in the back of your mind, if you are, you know, falling really short in an area, even if someone brings it to your attention, nine times out of 10, you are already aware of it. You're probably just trying not to think about it because it's something that already bothers you. So one thing I don't like to do is make people feel worse than they probably already do about an area an area that they're falling short in, I want to encourage you to come up in that area, not beat you over the head with a stick. So know yourself, look at yourself, examine yourself. And the next thing is be honest with yourself. If you know that you're lazy, say, I'm just lazy in this area. For As for me, I'm lazy when it comes to working out. I just am. In business and ministry and helping people and all that, I'm good. But when it comes to working out, I'm lazy. So the first thing into improving your productivity is to know yourself, be honest with yourself, and be quick to admit your shortcomings. Don't gloss over them. Admit it. Ask the Lord to help you. Get some accountability. If you have a best friend or family member that you can depend on to be honest with you, pull them into the journey with you and, and ask them, please hold me accountable because I really need to improve in this area to meet some goals in my life that are very important. So know yourself, be honest with yourself. And then number three, do not compare yourself with other people. Here is what I mean by that. Let me give you an example. Uh, when it comes to productivity around the house, let's use that example. I see people on YouTube who teach other people on how to keep their house clean blah 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 and their standard is there can never be any dirty dishes in the sink if you really want to be productive don't leave any dirty dishes in the sink and they go on and on well i throw out i throw that out you know why because i know myself i grew up one of my main chores was always i had to clean the kitchen so you would think <laughs> <laughs> that I would be the opposite and that I would be the main one keeping the kitchen clean since that was my duty growing up. Well, no, it it had the reverse effect on me. I hate cleaning up the kitchen, hate it. But I do it because at the same time, I don't like living in filth. So although I am not one of those people who feels like, oh, I can't go to sleep without a dirty dish in the sink. That doesn't bother me. You know what bothers me? Because I know myself. I don't like dirty counters, a dirty floor. I touch the, the handle on the kitchen counter and I feel something sticky. It grosses me out. So for me, as long as the counters are clean, the floors are clean, everything is in its place and everything is wiped down, it doesn't bother me that dirty dishes are in the sink. My morning routine is when I get up in the morning, I go in the kitchen, make my coffee, empty the dishwasher, and put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. The rest of the kitchen was clean the night before, but there are dirty dishes in the sink. So for me, that's what's best. So do not compare yourself to someone else and hold yourself to someone else's standard. Know yourself. What do you like? What bothers you or doesn't bother you? And do not concern yourself with if it bothers someone else. That's their house. That's their issue. Don't bring it upon yourself. And now you're beating yourself up because you have dirty dishes in the sink. Girl, don't allow it. 
throw it out. Do what is best for you, what makes you uh, comfortable in that area. And be realistic, you know. That goes along with don't compare yourself with someone, number four, because I know me. I'm not going, if I've cooked dinner and I'm tired and it's been a long day, I'm not about to do the dishes. I'll do everything else, but guess what? The dishes are going to be in the sink and they can wait for me in the morning. <laughs> so as for me and my house, it's perfectly fine to have dirty dishes in the sink. So be realistic about yourself and that way you will not heap up unrealistic expectations for yourself and then get overwhelmed by the vision and then you end up doing nothing. It's it's like walking into a messy room. You walk in there, you see everything, you get overwhelmed by the big picture and you just run out and shut the door and then it's still dirty for another few weeks. It, it can be the same thing with our productivity in any part of our life. We We home we zoom in on the big picture we get overwhelmed and nothing ends up getting done so i want to encourage you to take it one thing at a time decide what area in your life you want to be more productive in it, it could be at home it could be in business it could be with your personal hygiene maybe you're the type of person or woman who wants to wear a little more makeup. You know, you're single and you you maybe you got divorced and you never used to wear makeup and now you want to, you know, put a few curtains in the window, girl. So, maybe you'll start off by saying, "Okay, I don't have to totally make my whole face like all the YouTube videos, but I can start with a little bit of uh tint and some lipstick." That's a great way, place to start. Be realistic about what you are going to do and what you are going to commit to. So choose one thing. Maybe it's in business. Maybe you need to get a little more productive in your in your business. You need to manage your time a little more effectively. Maybe you need to be a bit more organized in your business. So start with your email. Maybe your email box is always full and you do not clean it out as you should and all your emails pile up and now you have 3,000 emails. You can tell I'm speaking from experience. So start by saying, okay, every week, once a week, or bi-weekly, I'm going to clean out my email. Start where you know it is realistic for you. It's a realistic goal and you will most likely than not achieve the goal. Don't compare yourself to someone else. Be honest with yourself. Know yourself and do what is best for you. So one thing at a time, one step at a time. If you fall off, Let's say you decided to make your bed and all of a sudden you haven't been making your bed. Don't beat yourself up. Just get back to making your bed. And I know because that was a thing for me making my bed. Before I was married, years ago when I was a single mom, making my bed was the last thing on my mind. I was taking care of children, working, going to school. So making my bed was not high on the list. But once I got married, the Lord, uh, the Lord <laughs> impressed upon me, uh, maybe your husband would like to see a made bed. So I started um, encouraging myself to make my bed. Now, do I always make my bed now 100% of the time? No, but I make my bed 80% more than I used to, which was not at all. So know yourself, be honest with yourself. Do not compare yourself with anyone else. Be realistic. Pick one thing at a time, one step at a time, one day at a time. Okay, you guys? So be encouraged. Be more productive. If this video has encouraged you to get back on the horse and start over, just don't give up. I used to do that years ago. If I didn't meet a goal, I'd beat myself up and just say, forget it. And that's ridiculous. If you fall off, so what? If you fell off for two days or a week, so what? Get up get back to it and continue moving forward. And you know what will happen? As you get consistent in whatever it is, 
as you see the results, that will encourage you to continue. And you'll look up weeks, months, a year later, and you've changed a whole habit and added something to your life where you are now more productive in that area. And then when you conquer that one thing, then you implement another thing and so forth and so on. Do not get overwhelmed by the big picture and try to tackle everything at once. So I hope this video has encouraged you. My name is Kinley Pink. I'm a life and leadership coach. I'm also a minister, a child of the King, and I love God, I love people, and I love anything that makes us be you, be better in Christ. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, and I will see you next time on the next video. Bye-bye.